everybody, Ray Woods here, channel Crab Out The Bucket. I got a crazy story to tell you guys as I drive to the Atlanta airport to Los Angeles, flying out today. Stay tuned. Beverly Hills, about to just scroll through the town a little bit, see what's going on, see what's popping, see all these rich folk out here, all these bougie people. That's why I'm out here in this bougie area. Out here in California first time being in California I want to tell you the story about this bottle cap challenge I want right so I went to Whole Foods to get some food and I bought the kombucha drink GTS and we was doing the bottle cap challenge I was like I'll go ahead and do it with this bottle since I was eating it for food uh, eating it with the meal my wife was like you should tag GTS in it I'm like cool okay whatever I tagged them somebody emailed me or they commented on my post they was like hey can you email us the video we want to use it in our stuff I said that's fine cool I'm not expecting a sponsorship or nothing. Maybe a free case of kombucha they was gonna send me, I don't know. So, like a week later, they then GT posted and tagged everybody, congratulations guys, you the winner. And I said, the winner for what? It was like, contest to come to the lair. I said, dude, what the hell? I didn't even know it was a contest. You got another guy here, I don't know where he at, but he didn't know, he over there. Same thing happened for him. Didn't even know it was a contest. This is ridiculous. So up until 2006, I lived with my mom, right? So I lived in the house where I started making kombucha, the house that I was conceived in, the house that I was born in, the house that my brother died in, and then ultimately the house I started my business in. So a lot of sentimental value there, right? So I was actually not super anxious to move out because I was in a place that had a lot of, again, history and, and sentimental value. Um, and so I thought, well, if I'm going to move out, I want to move out to a place that is equal or better than where I was living. So my mother had a house in Bel Air. That's where all this happened. And so I found this house, and it was 2006, and it was a dump, huh. absolute dump. Which you're thinking, well, I thought you said it was equal or better, so was your mom's <laughs> place a dump? Well, it turns out you need a vision, right? So when the real estate agent showed me this house, he said, listen, the lady just died. It's not on the market. I need you to break in and see the vision. And I came here and you couldn't see any of the view. It was completely overgrown oh, wow. with trees oh, wow. and bushes. Whoa. And so he yeah. said, this is an incredible house, but it, but, and, but it doesn't look like it used to. This used to be Ray Kroc's house. So Ray Kroc is the huh. former founder yeah, McDonald's. of McDonald's, yeah. which is oh, pretty yeah. crazy. Yeah. And he lived here with his second wife. Then they divorced and she stayed here. And then unfortunately she came down with brain cancer later in her life and then passed away. So I came in and tore the house down. I didn't plan on tearing the house right. down, to be completely honest. But it took three years of construction, and then this is what it turned into. Oh. It became my temple. And as all of you have seen, when you come into these homes, there is hopefully this relaxing vibe that you feel. Like it's totally zen, nice. it's yeah. peaceful. As we exit the lair, <laughs> it's a sad moment. 
Let me hear a round of applause for the Vince yeah. 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 We enjoyed it, guys. We enjoyed it. Yeah. I'm sad now.